Women suffering from excessive facial hair or maybe bad acne, maybe you're in a constant battle with obesity even, you might be actually suffering from a condition called polycystic ovarian syndrome. And joining us this morning is Dr. Joel Cohen from About Skin Dermatology. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. So what exactly is, it's abbreviated to what, PCOS, what is it? Polycystic ovarian syndrome is a health condition that can affect young women. And in particular, it affects their menstrual cycle, their ability to have children, their hormonal balance. Uh, it can affect heart disease, blood vessel disease, and even affect their appearance, as we saw in some of those pictures. So what causes it? Polycystic ovarian syndrome occurs in about 1 in 20 women of childbearing potential. And it's not exactly known what causes it. But for some reason, the, the eggs in their ovaries don't fully mature and they develop cysts. So there seems to be a genetic component. Women that are affected many times have a history in their family of their mom being affected or their sister being affected. And what it really boils down to is an imbalance of hormones, an okay. imbalance specifically of a hormone called uh, androgens. And in addition, some of these patients are actually insulin resistant. And because of the resistance, the insulin level kicks up the androgen hormones as well. Okay. I know that uh, we're showing a picture of, of, is this some of the symptoms that you know that pop up? They can have excessive facial hair or? This is a great picture because some of these symptoms are actually affecting the skin. So uh, many of these patients initially present to a dermatologist like me with significant acne, significant facial or body hair growth. Uh, in some cases, they develop skin tags. Sometimes they have uh, frontal balding or thinning mm -hmm. of the hair, sort of male pattern balding. Uh, and then, of course, some of the other symptoms are reproductive symptoms. They can have abnormal menstrual cycles. They can have uh, inability to become pregnant. And in some cases, because of the size of the cysts or where the cysts are causing swelling, they can actually have pelvic pain. I think we have a list of the symptoms. If we can pop that up to show you, again, talking about the menstrual cycles, uh, excessive facial and body hair there. And are there treatments available to for this? There, there is no specific treatment for this. Um, the workup really entails seeing a primary care physician for a detailed history and physical exam, looking for some of these symptoms that we see here. Secondly, if there's suspicion of the condition, then um, blood tests can be ordered to pinpoint some of these uh, abnormal hormone levels. Oftentimes, referral to someone to do a pelvic ultrasound can be diagnostic of these ovarian cysts. And then once the diagnosis is confirmed, working with an endocrinologist to help uh, this condition can be very helpful. And, and these uh, types of things that can be helpful are lifestyle changes so a healthy diet and exercise can decrease weight and avoiding smoking and decreasing weight can decrease the incidence of heart disease and diabetes. In addition, as far as appearance, many times patients see a dermatologist mm -hmm. uh, for treatment of acne, for treatment of excessive hair growth. Excessive hair growth can be treated with laser hair removal. And then for, for those who don't want to become pregnant, oral contraceptive pills can be very helpful to normalize the hormone levels and make the, the menses more regular. And for those who do want to become pregnant, actually there's some medications that can help the eggs in the ovary mature normally. So this isn't something that just kind of goes away on its own? Then. No. Okay. All right. Thank you, Dr. Cohn. I didn't even know about this My stuff. Pleasure. So yeah, I learned a lot today. Thank you. Hey, for more information on about skin dermatology and also polycystic ovarian syndrome, go to our website, thedenverchannel.com. We have a link there to about skin that you can go check it out and ask Dr. Cohn more questions as well.